Hello everybody, it's your game guys. So, now it has been a week or two since I last made my tutorial and the reason is I got a virus which wiped out my whole hard drive. I didn't plan on losing everything but the virus wiped out my boot sectors. So I had to wipe everything off and even then it wouldn't let me format. And um, yeah, I'm still installing a lot of my programs that I had before and I lost all of my saved work projects and documents up, um, of Adobe After Effects. Alright, so today's tutorial is going to be very basic. It only requires one layer, which is the text layer. And no, you don't need to import anything. Alright, the only thing that you need is text layer and you need the track code shine plugin which is this here this isn't the standard one you don't this doesn't come with Adobe After Effects you have to download it from trackcode.com um, you go into products and you can see all the different ones here there's shine all right you can try it this is a demo version now with the demo version you click get the demo here now once you have the demo version and you install it you happen to have a red cross going across your screen this is because the demo version once you purchase it um, the red cross will disappear alright so this is what I'm going to create today so it looks good very basic quick and easy to do and this is it. So you can change the color of it. Alright. So that's what we're going to be creating. So I'll just close these. Alright. So I'll create a new composition. 640 by 480, 30 seconds long, 29.97 frames per second. Okay. Now because I won't need the project window, I just close this. Close composition one. Alright, so I have nothing saved here. So what I'm gonna do, select my text, insert my text. <coughs> position it where you want it alright now you just click on your text layer now once you have check code um, installed you don't apply it as an animation you go into effect and it will be under the T um, section check code and shine alright so you can see it's already applied the effect and you'll see this little red cross here. You just click on that and drag it around the screen. Alright. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's easy. But you have to um, click on the stopwatch and position this around. Alright, we'll do that in a minute. Now, if you don't like gold, red, and white, you can always change this in your effects controls window click on colorize you can see your highlights is white mid tone is a goldish orange and your shadows is red now you can change this to a black white grey green blue etc but I'm going to keep it at that because I like these three colors looks pretty sweet okay so Oh, and also the ray length. If you don't like the amount that it shines, you can turn down the ray length. Put it on zero, has no ray length. Put it on ten, it's pretty long. You can just maximize it, looks pretty sweet. Alright, bring that back down. Put it back on four. So now we're just going to zoom out, get your crosshair. 
I'm going to position it over here. Now, put your timeline bar at the very beginning. Pull the crosshair down a bit so you can't see the shine effect on the text. Now, on source point in your effects control window where my cursor currently is, click on the stopwatch next to your source point. All right. Now, you want the crosshair to start there. So by the second second now if you're thinking you know you can't see the numbers here look over here and you can see the the numbers the milliseconds seconds minutes and hours all right so there we go and by the second second I want it to be up here and say the fifth second I'd like it to be over here so it's going to come across show you the text it's going to go to about there now the seventh it will appear in the middle of the text but still when it's there you can't really see dewey 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 um, you can start to see game sight begins to fade out and you can't really see com um, now you can animate the ray length as well so it's really long then as it comes into the center the ray length gets turned off as I shown before okay so this is the whole animation so far so just drag your timeline down to the bottom and press spacebar position itself in the center. So you play that again now that it's rendered rendered. Okay. Now go to the fifth second or so. Or probably to the sixth. And on the ray length put it as 4 and on the 7th second put it on say 0 0.3 alright so you just play that all again click off the composition so you're not highlighting anything you get a clear view of it so I just zoom in So that you have it, the chat code shine plugin animation. Um, my next tutorial should be on how to create my introduction. Um, I'll create a new one and I'll show you how to do it. It'll be similar to the one I recently did. Alright, so I'll just go into my channel so I can show you it if you haven't already seen it. So it's the Game Guide Site video intro. And this is it. So as I said earlier, I lost this once I got a virus, so I'm going to have to make a new one. Now all these arrows and flourish effects, they're with the evolution package that you get from videocorpolite.net. Alright, so I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, had fun with chat code shine it's pretty good um, plugin and it's free so enjoy